and we're back. I'm here to read uh, what is currently completed of Arized by Dark and Sparrow. Everybody's dressed up, guys! I am very glad to see that we were finally able to bring around a spirit day to our school. Halloween is one of those days where... Give your victory speech later, Double D. This troll's gonna do some major trolling on Magic Madness Monday. Redundancy, Eddie. <sighs> Don't worry, Sockhead. This won't need any repeating. Ooh, are you a dancer, pretty girl? I'm supposed to be a mercenary, Ed. You were quite close, though. Happy Magic Madness Monday, Jimmy Boy. Holy Jehoshaphat! Everyone's in such great spirits! Happy Magic Madness Monday to you, too, Edward! <laughs> 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 Has he not learned anything, Edward? Unfortunately, as many miles as we've traveled together, I thought he would learn something by now. Uh, hey, you idiot! I told you to leave Jimmy alone! Aren't we celebrating Halloween here? It's trick over treat. No more tricks then, fish face! Do not pout, baby sister of mine. I will take Jimmy to the cafeteria to make him all better for you. And you better bring him back! Flee! Her stingers are ready to inflict misery and pain on Ed! Are you following us to the cafeteria, Eddie? I expected Sockhead to say that. Now that I got some practice, I'm hoping to shock Johnny or Eilis. Whoever's first! Looks like somebody turned the lights down. I'm gonna head over to the snack stand and see what they're up to. What the? Eilis! Hey, Eddie. That's a really interesting costume you have on. Ezeke, I'm glad you found a unique outfit for Magic Madness Monday. But aren't you worried about the school's dress code? The pamphlet didn't explain what not to wear, so the misprint worked out. What are you supposed to be? Roll's gonna flip out when he gets here. I'm a nymph, Eddie. As far as Rolf goes, I can't think of how he'll react. Dude, is that why you left the house before I did? You have got to be kidding. Uh, can I help you? Yes, friend Kevin. Are Rolf's eyes being deceived? Shy eyes. I roll. You have assumed the form of the nymph from Rolf's slumber. Now tell the son of a shepherd, how was this done? I sacrificed a couple fabrics to the thread and needle. That's all. Are you sure you did not nap under the freezing water for five minutes? Your cousin looks like beauty sleep by a lake. Shut it, Ed. So, if Eilis is a nymph, then aren't you a samurai or something like that, Rolfy boy? No. Rolf is the son of a shepherd, square noggin Ed boy. Go on. This is proof. The head of the Golden Goat has been handed down for generations, far beyond the Great Nano. The medallion is said to bring good fortune to he who is given this token, and this must be sheltered from the hands of mischievous trolls like yourself. Am I boring you? Come back, Eddie! Rolf was getting to the good part. They're here! Shovel Chin brought a whole box of them! Jawbreakers! <laughs> Plank's phantom costume really scared you out of your pants, huh? A board in a blanket, please. Do I scare you, Eddie? <laughs> when don't you, Ed? You haven't even mentioned chickens once today. That's enough. Hey, give me back my drawbreaker! <laughs> Hello, Eddie. Do you want to share? K canker No way! Go ahead and keep it! Aw, how sweet! Thank you, Lee! Heads off, Marie! Give it back! You heard it, man! He gave it to me! Go find your own jawbreaker! They're so dramatic. Naz! Your cat costume is so pretty! Thank you, Sarah. 
Are you and Jimmy just hanging out right now? I'm reading my poetry to Sarah! You write poetry? I want to hear one. Okay. The fairies and gnomes are out to play. Their griffins and trolls are here to stay. For one night only, trick or treat, we say. Tonight is Halloween. Magic Madness Monday. That's awesome, Jimmy. You should be a writer. Don't lie to him, ass. That poem sucked eggs. Really? I actually liked it. Is Zeke, you're gonna lie to him too? I'm not lying. Of course not. I bet that explains the book I found under your scarf this morning. What are you talking about? Your attitude is not cool, Kevin. Oh, you too? Jimmy can write whatever he wants. You're just being a total jerk. Face it, Naz. Fluffy's poem wasn't even good. It's Halloween. I don't even do Halloween. If he's going to write, shouldn't it be, you know, scary? Lies. Jimmy? Lies. Oh, lies. You! Get away from my double B! Oh my lord! Stop it, Marie! Don't push me! Say it ain't so! I will not go! The magic is here no more! Must throw in this madness with his beating stick? Have fun with Halloween, Zeke. I'm going home. Oh, what now? Hell, Zeke, is it hell at all? Not in a world where shadows fall. Silly costumes over only cover so much. A wolf can't have enough wool to clutch. You can't hide where darkness lies. Not in a world where nightmares rise. You want to see something out of spite? Stare in the mirror without the light. Heed, boy, Jimmy's passage. Wolves lurk where darkness lies, only to swipe the shepherd of his livestock. A wolf once shredded the neck of Rolf's hen, never again. Oh, you just had to bring that up, Rolf. Yes. Man, that has absolutely the nothing to do with the Soil speaks, not you. Have you become a duck with none better to do than to squawk at nothing? This whole thing is nothing, pal. All right, sod it, the both of you. What the? Gentlemen, I'm afraid we are dealing with a foreign disturbance. Ghost Double D? No, Ed. Call me crazy, but our accessories might have drawn in the cafeteria's energy, causing the room to power down and our costume pieces to become luminescent. That's impossible. I think we're turning into fireflies, Blink. Sarah? If that were the case, Stoldy, I'd have the same reaction. I don't feel any different. Eyeless, I got something that'll give you a quick jolt. No thanks. How about you show him your face then? I bet it'll get him to shut up. Shy eyes, follow. Hey, I'm trying to see! Face this way. The bullhorn dead boy has no right to such a view. Does Rolf have your permission? You do, but be quick.